Got to hear the next line. So that's, uh, and I did meet Tom Cruise, by the way, and talked to him for about an hour about that movie. So here I was, born in Lowell, Massachusetts. I'm an army brat of a, a very well-known father who was a very war, big war hero in World War, World war II and Vietnam. He had 57 medals, uh, silver star, bronze star, purple hearts. He's got everything. He was my hero when I grew up, obviously. Attended 10 different schools through high school. I'm the eldest son of three boys. My middle brother has never been married, and he's living with my mother. My youngest brother is a top musician in the Hall of Fame in the Maryland, the state of Maryland. He still plays, by the way, guitar. I'm married to my wife, Janice, for 26 years. That's Woodstock. <laughs> and I am right up here where that pole is. I remember standing next to the pole going, what am I doing here? Uh, if you want to get a one-to-one -one me, you'll hear the whole story. These are the schools I've attended. I went to the University of Maryland my freshman year, Montgomery College my sophomore year, and then I got an Air Force scholarship to the University of Miami my last two years, and then I got my MBA at Embry-Riddle up in Prescott. These are the companies I've worked for. I've had five careers. I worked for 3M as an advertising sales rep. I worked for Center Professional Development as a consultant for dentists. I also worked for four different, uh, different mortgage companies, and I'm with Megastar right now. I also was a comptroller for the state of Florida as an auditor. These are the two airplanes I flew, the awards I've won, uh, as you can see up there. The F-4 Phantom was the first airplane I flew, and I got the Top Gun Award in the F-4 Phantom. And because of that, I was one of the six pilots out of 125 that were upgraded to the F-15 when it first came in service. So I'm one of the first F-15 pilots in the Air Force. There's Darth Vader. That's my call sign. Darth Vader is well known in the Air Force. Nobody knows my real name. So if you talk to anybody who's been in the service, you've got to use my call sign. They don't know who Ted Thomas is. There he is sitting alert. That's live Zulu alert in Bitburg, Germany with live missiles ready to go. There I am again. There's my pride and joy, the F-15 jet, which is my Corvette. I still own it. Okay, let's talk about mortgages for a second. What you need to know how to refer me and all that sort of stuff. So what is a reverse mortgage? It's a mortgage for seniors who are 62 years and older to take, use the equity out of their home to pay for things, whether they want monthly checks or whether they want lump sum cash, whatever. It's an asset that they can use before they pass and they make no mortgage payments. Three types of loans. We cut the Heckam loan and then we've got a purchase loan. Purchase loans are becoming very popular for the seniors who are moving from up north down here and they have so much cash to buy a house and they don't have enough to pay cash, they can come to me and I can pretty much give them half the money to the house and they have no payments. So that's the purchase. The biggest one that's coming out lately is the Home Safe Jumbo. I've got two four million dollar properties right now that I'm doing reverse mortgages for that are free and clear and they're going to get about two to two and a half million dollars tax free cash. Don't have to make payments. Okay, I know this is hard to see, but the eligibility is you gotta be 62 years and older and it must be your primary residence. Those are the two big things that you have to worry about. Uh, we do single family two to four units. We do condos that are approved by FHA and we do manufactured homes as well. The requirements is they have to go through a counseling session and then in addition to that, they must maintain the home and then pay the taxes and insurance. That's all the requirements that they need. I don't care about credit score for qualifying. I do care about how much debt they have and how much income they make to see if they can at least make the tax insurance payments. I'm more worried about that. Loan costs are three sets of costs in the reverse mortgage. One is the MI insurance for the FHA. That's for the FHA loans only, not the jumbo. And then there's the loan origination costs, which sometimes I can waive depending on how big their balance is. I usually do. And then there's the third party costs. A few of the benefits is obviously they can use the money tax-free for any purpose they want. And the, obviously they can also, uh, it's FHA insured so that if they have a credit line with the government on a reverse mortgage and the bank goes out of business, the government guarantees the money. If the house, at the time that they need to pay off the mortgage, if the house value is below the mortgage balance, they're not responsible for the difference. They only owe whatever the house will sell for. So they don't owe more than, than what the balance would be in that case. Here's the myths that we see in reverse mortgages. 
Typically, you'll see this on the news or something. Hey, the lender owns the home. No, you own the title. You have full control, no prepayment penalty. You can sell the house anytime you want, pay off the mortgage anytime you want. There's no requirement on that. They're not, they're the, the, all the proceeds are tax free. Uh, some, here's a myth that only poor people use reverse mortgages. I've done more millionaires than most people have seen. I've been in the business 20 years. I've done over 700 reverse mortgages. So I've done a lot of this for a long time and I've done a lot of wealthy people. I've done very big bank executives in Florida who had $10 million properties. It's smart use of money is what it is. So people have to understand that that's an asset they can use. And I will spend the time to go over it with them to make sure that it's right for them. These are the kind of questions that we usually get from seniors. I can't afford to live in my home. How am I going to stay? I got big bills. How do I pay for these bills? I just got these big medical bills and I'm, I'm, not wor I'm worried. I want to stay in my home is the biggest answer I get from the seniors. And that is a big issue for families. Do you want to take care of your parents? No. So you want them to use the, all the available assets that they want to use. And my goal is to help them stay there for the rest of their life if they want to do that. If they don't, then we have other options. Repairs, roof repairs, uh, remodeling, don't have the cash to do it. A reverse mortgage is great for that uh, because they can use the equity out of the home. But these are the kind of things. Here are my referral sources. You are the biggest referral source. I get more referrals from close friends. I don't advertise myself at all. Of course, when you've been doing it for 20 years, you know a lot of people in the reverse business. All my referrals come from either current clients or people like you. Realtors now are becoming more referrals because they don't know much about reverse mortgages. I do do seminars for realtors to educate them on the use of that product for purchasing. This year, the purchasings have picked up a lot. So that's one of the things that I've been able to do. But the things that you don't think about is a funeral director. Funeral directors are dealing usually with somebody who's lost their loved one. And that other person says, how am I gonna stay in the house or how am I gonna pay the bills? I'm a perfect avenue to discuss that with them to see if that's an option. So that's one of the ones that I typically don't see much of. Plastic surgeons. A lot of ladies going under the knife are doing things and they don't have the money to do it. <laughs> you know? So, so I'm telling you, I'm telling you that that's, a, that's become popular for some people to do that. Okay, I got a little treat for you. This is me doing, a, not me in this airplane, but this is what I, I used to do air shows. This is the first thing I would do on a takeoff on the air show. Halfway down the runway up to 22,000 feet and I'm only halfway down the runway. But this is for you guys. This is a air to air dog fighting. Um, us in Germany, over the skies of Germany, there's a two minute dog fight with about a two V two, you'll see. So it's full. Oh, we're doing about 500 miles an hour. Fox 1 is a simulated firing of a missile. Pulling about three to four G's there, that's why you feel the breathing. That's not somebody screaming, that's a missile, a heat seeking missile growling. Gun tracking at about a thousand feet.
<laughs> I used to do that every day in Germany, is practice dogfighting like that, and that's why I was voted the best dogfighter in two different squadrons. The gun tracking kill at 1,000 feet is one of the hardest things to do. And shooting missiles at long range, easy. But to getting a night, what we call a knife fight, is, takes a lot of experience. Thank you for everything. Thank you.